Hey everybody, welcome back to the video for step three, taking notes on your first source. Now that you've gone ahead and actually selected the topic that you're going to be researching in this project, it's time to really read your first article in depth and to highlight and take some notes on it. To do that, let's open up this Google Doc here. Once you've gotten to this point, go ahead and click on the name again or the square with the arrow to open it in a new tab. So this Google Doc just has some directions for you. I didn't put any information about making a copy uh, and saving your own version of it. You can feel free to do that if you want, but you don't have to. This is not a Google Doc that we're going to do any work on. It just has directions for us. Okay. So we're going to open up the article that goes along with our topic on Gale. And remember, if it asks you at any point for the password, that that password is new underscore log. So whichever one of these topics you ended up picking, open up that article. Let's say for this video that my topic was cuneiform, the world's first writing system. So I'll open that up in Gale. Now I'll go back to the directions. And you should recognize these directions because they're actually almost identical to the directions that I gave us when we were reading our articles for the Soviet Union group project. So I'm going to ask you to read through the article from top to bottom, not just the first paragraph or two like we did in step two, but the whole thing, and to highlight it the same way we did with the Soviet Union project. Details about where the event happened will be in yellow. Details about when will be in green. Details about who will be in blue. Details about what will be in purple. And details about why will be in red. Okay, so let me show you a little bit how that would look. Before I highlight anything, though, remember that we got to start here, sign in with Google at the top of the screen. So I'm going to go up to sign in with Google. And now I'm going to be able to download this work, send it to my Google Drive once I'm done. Okay. So the first sentence here, cuneiform is the world's oldest or is the oldest writing system in the world. That's going to be a detail about what and what is purple. So do that, say what, and save. It was developed around 3400 BC. That's a detail about when, and when is going to be green. Okay. By the Sumerian people of ancient Mesopotamia. This is the desert area of present day Iraq. So this is now a detail about where. And just double checking where is yellow. All right, where? And notice here how this is one sentence, but different parts of the sentence gave me different type of information. Cuneiform is not a language or an alphabet. Instead, it uses about 1,000 characters to write words or parts of words. So this is again details about what. This made it easy for other ancient cultures to adopt cuneiform from the Sumerians for use in their own societies. Mesopotamian civilizations used cuneiform to write into the first century AD. The system became extinct around this time. Historians continue to study cuneiform in the 21st century. So this might be a little bit about why they developed it. So I'm going to say this is why and use red. And then this is saying it when it went extinct. So that'll be part of the when. So it'll be green. Okay. All right. So I just did the first paragraph there, but you can see how the process works, right? So you're going to read through your whole article from start to finish and go through with highlighting those different colors according to the chart. Once you're done, then you need to send it to your Google Drive because remember, it's not going to save automatically. So I'm going to go up here to where it says send to, I'm going to click my Google Drive. Documents have been sent to Google Drive and will appear shortly. Click OK. All right, now this one, this article happened to be from Gale and Context Middle School. So the articles that I've given you links for will either be middle school or elementary school which means when I go to my Google Drive, 
I'm going to look for that folder, either Galen Context Elementary or Galen Context Middle School, and try and find it and verify before I close out of that tab that it did in fact download and save. Let me check my Google Drive. So go Galen Context Middle School, and there's my article, Cuneiform. And it should, once I open it up, have my highlights in it. Perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, this is a different step right now that I'm giving you than what we've done previously. I want to add this whole folder to my research folder. That way it gets shared with me and I can see that you uh, worked on your first article. So to do that, you're going to right click on the Galen Context folder and select Move To and then choose your Research 2021 folder. Okay, it's going to look like this. I go back to my Google Drive. I'm going to right click and choose Move To. And then I have all of my folders here. And I want to go to Greg Person Research 2021 and move it there. And again, I'm just going to open the folder to verify. But if I open that up, there it is. And now my article is in here along with the work that I did from step two. Nice job completing step three. Appreciate you following along with the videos and getting your work done. If you're still stuck, have any questions, be sure to just ask me and I'd love to help you out. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon in the video for step four.